Well, good evening, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 21st, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Thank you, Honeydew, for sending in this video of Colorado last night as temperatures dipped down and the moisture came as snow. We're going to get more into that in just a moment. We're going to have a quick look at the last 24 hours on our sun active outgoing region you can see on the right side there and on the left side looks like we do have some incoming as well we haven't looked at the sun for a while it's been very quiet the last few days since all that action last week with the cmes some beautiful images coming out of solar dynamics observatory and thanks again to all those researchers and providers amazing images of the sun our very quiet sun to say the least we're going to have a, another look at it here where you're really able to see the plasma you can see some large plasma filaments Erecting from the southeastern side there. I want to thank everybody for watching today. Let's have a look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Just recently, this 5.6 in Bamboo Flat, India, at a 10 kilometer depth. Now, this alert literally just came up. That's why it's still in the green. So, we've had some sizable fives move from Fiji and northwest straight across Indonesia and up into India. So these earthquakes in uh, Karamatic Islands and Vanuatu were all very shallow, fairly shallow depth earth earthquakes, but you can see it moved right into the Marianas Trench as well. And then strange northern Russia earthquake here and Nordvik as well Greece popping off a 4.7 South America has been very busy so it's been very busy 24 hours and we've been expecting it so right across South America seeing fives 5.1 in Peru today Dominican Republic still popping off the miners Ocean Shores, Washington with a 3.4 today. So we've had a lot of movement along the West Coast as well in North America. Pine Hills, California as well. BC, Mexico. St. George, Utah with a 2.6. And Oklahoma still some minor 2.0 and almost 3.0 rumbles. So yeah, as we look around our planet, it has been very busy the last 24 hours let's look at the last seven days compare it to the last seven days and i'm going to give you my small warning area watch for zoom in and zoom out and those are the regions that i'm forecasting because i do believe we're going to have more earthquakes in the next 24 hours Especially if we get, get another deep one in Fiji. But this India earthquake means that things are moving west. So I think either there or the antipode of India. Now we're going to head to Watch the Pacific Disaster Center looking at the latest disaster alerts from around the world concentrating on North America because there are a lot of alerts for tornadoes and floods. So bear with me here as we're going to go through four states that are under tornado alert right now, especially Kansas. They've been going off almost every five or ten minutes. An alert has been going off as well as St. Louis, Missouri. So Kansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, and then, of course, we've got the winter storm warning now in Colorado from the backside of this low. 
So stay aware and prepared. Part, parts of Colorado, you could see a foot of snow with this winter storm. Honeydew shared a little bit video in the beginning there. I'll show you what it looked like the next day. And let's look at tropical cyclone Andrea. And most likely we'll be heading northeast as just a subtropical storm. So nothing serious with that storm, but it also all depends on how how far this large low pressure system goes. It's supposed to head northeast now. It's supposed to. Uh, forecast models, that's what they're saying, but it's really hard to forecast whether these days things are changing drastically around the world. So this was the next morning. And they got at least six to eight inches of snow. And let's have a look at what's going on, okay? <clears throat> so this is overlooking a Pacific Ocean right now. You can see the large low pressure system on the right hand side there. Very tightly whipped and large low pressure system. Watching as it goes over the mountains, it picks up speed. You can see the wind shear just ripping apart those clouds. And then yesterday, of course, we had all of the tornado warnings through Nebraska, Oklahoma, Kansas, Texas, all across the United States. The last three days have been disastrous for them. So my thoughts and my prayers are going out to everybody being affected by these storms in the United States. I mean, look at that. So now the center of the low is over Colorado and it's supposed to bring about a foot of snow, maybe even two feet. It's supposed to drop two to three feet of snow in Sierra Nevada. So overlooking the Meteo Earth projected forecast, it shows it moving northeast. And then behind it, some very warm gulf moisture. So watch for extreme weather events to continue throughout the United States all week with daytime heating, tornado warnings, and I'm assuming these flood warnings are going to drastically increase as well. So we're looking at that large low pressure system over Hudson Bay. That's pretty much what a winter engine would do and it would create winter when it stays there. And throughout our winter, we didn't really have a low pressure system that stayed there. So now that's stuck. And I think that's why we're still getting all the cool temperatures. Overlooking Pacific Ocean, BC not getting the moisture that it needs. Unfortunately, these low pressure systems are heading north to Alaska. We'll go north, the rush is on. But yeah, moving north and then no tri tropical cyclones to talk about, no typhoons, but we do have an extreme weather event that's about to hit China over the next few days. Long line of storms, low pressure system developing out of Mongolia and heading east. Watch for intense thunderstorms, torrential downpours throughout parts of China in the coming days. South America still dealing with mass evaporation, daily evaporation, and tons of moisture. Just, it, it will not stop. These forecast models have been doing this every day for months. South of the continent, we do have large low pressure system developing off the coast of Brazil, but it will be heading south. And then we've got our crazy Southern Hemisphere. Just observe how big these low pressure systems are and tell me that there's nothing wrong with our planet. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Much love, bye-bye. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you made it this far, God bless you. Bye-bye.
If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family across the world.